Oh, Sprocket will have to accept the fact that he's wrong. Nothing lives behind that hole. Hmm. Well, if Candace says we need to touch, who am I to argue? Huh. I'll, uh, I'll just climb right up there and grab it by the nose. Hello? Oh, Ned. Oh, listen. There's no point in coming over to help because... What? But you told me things were fine. You have to move. But move to where? As far away as that. But how will you manage? Now, you listen to me, Ned Schimmelfinney. If the doctor says you have to move for your health, then that is what you'll have to do. Yes, 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 I know it's hard. It's very hard, but... No, 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 Ned, don't upset yourself. I'll, I'll be right over, and we'll talk about it. I'm losing my friend. My best friend. It's losing its best friend. I know how that feels. How can this be happening? It was always such a part of me and of everything I do. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll be all right. Who said... Who are you? You mean, you can see me? Can't I? I felt bad for you. That's how you touched me. Then I touched you. You're not just a silly creature. You're a you, aren't you? I'm what? A, a you, like me. Where did you come from? Huh? I'm a fraggle. I live behind that hole. A fraggle. I don't believe it. What's that? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh... Oh, oh it honks. That's it. We're, we're all a part of everything, and, and everything's a part of us. Even you. Could, could I have that? I'm sure Sprocket won't mind. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks for everything. <laughs> oh, wait. Please. Please. <laughs>